Good morning, guys. Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina. The 39-hour trip just got back in. Captain Dave and the boys just pulled off another one of these 39-hour adventures. Nice pile of fish, some nice mangroves, some nice red snapper. We got some more over there in the corner and some quality gag grouper to round out the catch. Definitely a nice pile of some quality fish here. Looks like, there it is, we're back. Sorry about that, guys. So as you were saying, Dave, looks like you guys had a pretty nice catch here. Yeah, we had a good night bite. The mangrove bite was pretty hot, and uh, got a nice uh, African pompano last night. Uh, some kingfish and stuff, but the, but the bite overall last night was really good. Looks like you guys did pretty darn well for a little bit tougher day bite. Yeah, the day bite's been about the same also. I mean, we're averaging four, five, six fish a spot, so we're moving and shooting a lot, but uh, have some nice quality fish on uh, some nice gags come up, some really big red snapper, but we're still seeing a lot of the 18, 20 inch snapper come up. But overall, we get there. So you had to work for it a little bit more, huh? We absolutely did. Was uh, your anchor having a challenge throughout the trip? No, actually on this one we had a little bit of wind out there, had a nice current, so anchor heading wasn't too much of a problem until we got later on in the day when the storms came in. That kind of blew us off our spots, but uh, the fish have stayed about the same. Nice. I see a black fin tuna over there. How'd you guys get that guy? Uh, I think the black fin tuna was caught in the bottom. I think while we were bottom fishing, he picked it up. Oh, so the tuna was caught on the bottom fishing rig? Yeah, he wasn't on the trawl. I got gotcha. you. Some nice quality red snapper. What was the hot bait this trip? Well, the guys from Miami that were down they actually brought octopus. And as soon as they sent the oct octopus down, they were they inhaled them immediately. So the yeah. octopus was the hot dead bait, huh? Yeah, that was a good bait for them. Hot, hot bait was the octopus. All right. What about the red snapper? Do you know what was coming up best for those red snapper? I think it was. I think it was a mixture of both. A lot of guys were using the dead bait, and uh, some of the bigger ones they came up with some of the live bait as well. Live bait, dead bait. It was all working well, huh? It was. All right. Cool, man. Any tips or tricks for guys? We got a couple more days left in this red snapper season. What what could you tell someone uh, coming out here for the last bit of red snapper season? I will say this, it's the same thing that Captain Brian says all the time, keep your best feet wet. Because yeah. uh, you do have the storms that we play with out there, and a lot of times the, the bite is slow, so we're moving and shooting all the time, and you can get kind of bored doing that, and then you miss a good bite when you get on a good spot. So uh, It only takes one. It only it. takes one, and some guys would wake up and say, man, I missed a really good a good bite. So you just got to stay consistent, keep fishing. Cool. You know what that African pompano was caught on? I don't know. Will might know what that was caught on. What was it? Ben. Ben uh, caught it? No, he didn't, ben did not get it. Actually, I thought he had another one. one, one. I heard a rumor it was a, uh, a thread fin that the African they pompano was caught Yeah. Uh, I heard a story that uh, they were reeling up a fish and it had come unbuttoned like uh, halfway up. And when it came unbuttoned, that's when that African pompano bit. Uh, he caught it halfway off right. up to the bottom. That makes kind sense. of typical African pompano bite yeah. when you're not expecting it. Awesome catch, guys. Thank you. All right, guys. Y'all want to get a nice quick picture of the fish? Y'all come quick. We'll get a picture of what's all these things. See, boys. Woo. Another great trip here at Hubbard's Marina as we get ready for the last little bit of our red snapper season. Remember, season goes all the way through end of day, August 18th. Uh, do you have a second, Joe? Yeah. Uh, so we got more time if you want to get out here for one of these 39-hour adventures and the 12-hour extreme trip. The 12-hour extreme trip's been doing pretty well out here, too. Captain Joe's here. He's going to tell us a little bit more about those 12-hour extreme trips. You guys have been doing well, huh? Yeah. Yesterday I had one, and it was a, a slow, steady pick the whole trip. But uh, by the time we got home, the fish really added up. We ended up with our snapper limit, and uh, I think we had 26 groupers, like half and half, half gags, half red groupers. 26 groupers and a snapper limit on that 12-hour stream, huh? Yeah, and uh, 
the snapper fish is still there. We're still catching our limit. We're just not catching our limit by nine o'clock. Yeah, most of the yeah. season it's been like by nine or ten o'clock. We have a snapper limit now. It's taking us more till like noon, but we are still getting them. I'd say our biggest one yesterday was probably twenty pounds, maybe twenty-one pounds. So we're still catching some solid red snapper. For sure. Just having to grind a little bit harder to get there, and uh, kind of the overall average size has fallen a little bit. Would you say? A little bit, but we're still catching some nice ones. I know I always say this, but we're still losing some giants on <laughs> that, that boat. We lose a lot of big fish. Yeah, that, that's always the we trick. We stopped on one yesterday and broke off six or eight fish, got one gag, and had to move on. The bite shut down after breaking six or eight of them off. Yeah, it was funny. I was just talking to a guy in the parking lot. He was like, I didn't get my big gag this trip. I said, oh, man, that stinks. Did you hook one? And he said, yeah, I hooked a few. They kept breaking me off. And I said, oh, man, too bad you didn't land one. Yeah. So it happens. Yeah, the fish is still good, man. We got some openings. Y'all get out there. Thanks, Joe. Yep. Appreciate it. So you heard it here, guys. The fishing is still going on well. And uh, we're catching a lot of these red snapper, gag grouper, red grouper, scamp grouper. You have lots of great opportunities out there on the water and catch some fish and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon inside john's pass at hubbard's marina sorry for the foggy view this morning i don't know what's going on with the camera here guys but uh, let's see if we can wipe it off there it's a little better uh but definitely a lot of good opportunities still to get out on the water this week we have pretty average weather through the week tomorrow's going to be a little bit more bumpy and a little bit more rainy uh so Today's 39 hour trip is going. It's gonna be unaffected. They're only looking at about three, three and a half foot tomorrow. But that is enough to potentially disrupt that 12 hour extreme trip uh, tomorrow. So we're gonna kind of keep a close eye on the weather through the morning and might have to make a tough decision on that 12 hour extreme trip for tomorrow. But 39 hour trip should go. Then the next five to seven days look pretty darn average for this time of year, 10 to 15 knot winds around two to three foot seas so looks pretty darn fishy and uh we're on that new moon so the day bite should get good for us we will be battling that current most likely so if you're going deep make sure you're prepared with a little heavier lead make sure you have that heavier leader as you heard from captain joe and even captain dave some big fish are being broke off if you're dropping down a big bait for guy grouper you really need to have 80 really a hundred pound test and you need to be ready for war because the battle is won in the first 10 15 seconds you get that bite you got to put cranks down and really really reel like a maniac and get that uh fish up off the bottom so he won't break you off because you break off a couple fish the bite shuts down and then we have to move spots and it makes it really really tricky so got to stay on top of it guys got to make sure you do your best to get those fish into the boat successfully Y'all have a great day. Hopefully we'll see you soon. Fishing is good. Weather looks pretty good outside of tomorrow. Weather doesn't look bad tomorrow, but it doesn't look picture perfect either. We are expecting a little bit increase in the rain as that high pressure kind of pushes a ridge down on top of us and pushes some more moisture our way. Y'all have a great day. Tight lines. Don't forget if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy. Hopefully we'll see you Friday morning for our Fox 13 fishing report every Friday morning, 8.15 a.m. on Fox Channel 13 News. Saturday morning, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m., we got our Real Animals radio show. Sunday nights, 8.30 p.m., we got our live stream show. Hopefully we'll see you soon for one of those or out here on the water, even better. And uh, don't forget, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy. Have a great day, guys. Happy Tuesday.